We're here at the Fort Young Hotel where we've hosted two back-to-back -back weeks of Kids Sea Cap. We've been diving all around Dominica and we want to show you what the hotel has to offer. The hotel is located in Rosia of Dominica, the capital, where it's close to everything on the island for hiking and diving, so there's a lot to do as well, even if you're not a diver. But let's jump in and let's go take you on the tour of Fort Young Hotel. Here we go. Okay, so once you come through the front gates and you've done your security checks, they have security on 24 hours a day, really friendly guys, and they'll help you carry your bags to your room as well. But as we come along, we have our front desk just here where you're going to check in, complete all your paperwork. One thing we do require is your vaccine card as well, so don't forget that. And as we come down, we have the veranda along here so you can have a drink and some food as well at the Warner's Bar. It's got pretty much everything you really need in a gym. It has weights, therabands, pull-up bars, things like that. It's very simple, but it does the job. The heart of Fort Young Dive Resort is the dive shop. Now this is where you can do tri dives, snorkeling, arrange whale tours, they run trips all week and they're part of the dive Dominica who come and bring the boats up to have your underwater adventure in Dominica. So let's head into the dive shop and show you around. Right, let's walk. So one of the things that they have great here at Fort Young is the dive gear room. So just here to our right is the dive gear room where they actually hang your gear up through the day, dry it, and then they put it in this room overnight for you. You do not have to do anything when you come off the boat. So they'll take the gear away, wash it, and put it away for you. Also here, we have the dive sites you did. So you can see at Kids Sea Camp this week, we had the kids' boat and the adults' boat. And every day, they put the name of the dive sites up. So you don't have to go and remember right down yourself, you can take a nice photo at the end of the week so you know where you were diving. This is where our tank filling station is. Any tanks that you need will be here. There will be night trucks and air. If you want to take tanks on a shore dive, grab a tank and go diving. Otherwise, they'll be loaded onto the boat for you and you never have to touch a tank. Now continuing on, we have two buckets. The first one up here is dive equipment only. We mentioned this a little bit in our resort tour at Turquoise Bay, but this is for fins, masks, BCDs, regulators, etc. You can dunk it in here, take it down the stairs, and hang it up at our hanging station. If we come down the stairs, we have our second bucket. This is our wetsuit bucket here. The wetsuits go in here and straight to the hangers over there. We have two types of hangers, one's for wetsuits and one's for BCs and other dive equipment. They hang here, they get enough sun to dry them off and then they get taken inside for the rest of the day to preserve them. Now we also have the camera station here, a camera bucket to rinse your cameras and a camera table to make sure that your cameras remain safe when you're doing everything else with your dive. Finally, on the dive deck, we have the showers. It's quite nice to have a nice warm shower after a dive. They warm up with the sun and they also get you nice and fresh rather than being salty all day. As Holly just mentioned there, one thing that they offer at Fort Young is unlimited shore diving normally in your packages. So let's take you guys across the dock to see the shore diving site and also where the boats leave every morning and afternoon for your dives. Let's go check it out. So, one, 
one of the things that the dive shop have that's great here is they have these tank carts to take all the tanks up and down for you in the morning and also a nice big wheelbarrow to take the kits down as well. This is also for yourselves if when the staff aren't about and you're doing a shore dive you're able to transport your kit easily down as well. They also have kayaks as well if you want to go for a kayak around the bay as well. Definitely something you want to do because it is beautiful here. You guys have seen the scenery in the background. The backdrop is stunning in Dominica. Here we are at the dock for a shore dive. Now usually, like today, there are a couple of tanks laid out so that we can take them on a shore dive. If there aren't, that's when you can use the tank wheelbarrow to bring the tanks down here. Now we've got two features on this dock which are very useful for a shore dive. The first is our ladder. Super easy to use. It tells you which way's up and which way's down. And then you're just gonna call, uh, follow that as necessary and bring the ladder down until it touches the water. Easy entry and exits. We also have, coming this way, a dive flag to let any boats in the area know that we're about. Now the important thing about the dives for the shore dives is over to our left, we have a cruise ship dock. When the cruise ship's in, we generally stick quite close to the snorkel area, which is shown by the buoys around the bay. But when the cruise ship isn't there, we can actually go and explore the cruise ship dock, which is a really good dive. So if you ever get the chance to do that, totally go out there and see what's under the pier. This area is about four meters of water, which is perfect to giant stride into as long as your BCD is fully inflated. So if you're comfortable jumping a couple uh, meter or so down, then it's great for a giant stride and an easy entry in. Finally, the last thing on our dog here is a bench. Sure, it's great for looking out at the ocean in the morning, but it's also perfect height for putting on dive gear. You can sit on the bench, put your BCB on, stand up and go into the water. So we're gonna give you a bit of an overview of the dive site. Just give you an idea when you jump in. You know, Brad or Fran, who are the managers at Fort Young Dive, will help you and show you a bit round as well. If you want guided, you can have a guide as well with them. But one of the things you do, just off the right hand side of this pier, is a nice big rope. You follow the rope out to almost where the orange buoy is, and you're gonna see a nice big rock to your right hand side, which is north. You're just gonna head along that way, and there's some cannons underwater. You can have a look around, see what you see there. There's normally lionfish here, there's eels, there's a lot of web barfish as well. We're going to run some footage so you can see what the uh, topography and the dive site looks like. When you go around, come your way back, if the cruise ship's in, you, as Holly said, you can't go to the cruise ship pier. If it, is in, if it isn't there, you can go around the cruise ship. It's a beautiful dive site. Once you're coming back across this way, there's a lot of wreckage on the south side of the pier from the hurricanes that have blown in. So there's a lot of big engines, a lot of wreckage. It's quite cool because they've been coralized over the years now since Hurricane Maria and they are full of fish and marine life. So it's definitely worthwhile to go check out there and find some critters. And don't forget, there's octopus here. There's a lot of octopus, really cool. One was hiding using the shells. You guys, it is an awesome dive site. You'll enjoy it. We're gonna head up the stairs towards the bar and the pool. alive at night. This is more of a night bar. It's the pool bar where you can get drinks and things to sit sitting next to the pool. During the day, it's a little bit early right now, but at around 9 o'clock they turn on the waterfall at the pool, which is a fun feature to swim around in. And the pool is always really clean, really beautiful, and it's accompanied by a hot tub, in case you've had a really cold day of time. We've got nice chairs and places to sit all around the pool where you can grab food, drink, or just chill with your friends and put sunscreen on. So we've arrived up at the waterfall rooms. As you can see how they got the name, it was from the waterfall that we've just shown you a clip of. Really nice tranquil setting and these rooms are great. They're the conference rooms of the resort. Now they've been fantastic for us for the karaoke night and also for the sperm whale talks. And they also offer opportunities to have them set up in different ways for whatever your events, requirements and needs. And both rooms can be split or made into one large massive room for you. 
Just along from the waterfall room, we have the Palisades restaurant, where they serve a la carte most days, except for Sundays, which is a Sunday brunch or buffet. Now, here at Kids Sea Camp, we had a buffet all week, so they are very accommodating with large groups, which is really cool, and the food is really good. One of the great advantages of Fort Young Dive Resort is it has spectacular viewpoints throughout the resort to sit, have your drink and have your food. Just like this veranda here that we're on just now, giving us incredible views over the water. And just behind us over here is some of the Tres Pitons as well of Dominica. It is the nature island at the end of the day and you really feel immersed in nature here. Also up top as well in the Palisades is the cocktail lounge area as well. It's a nice seating area where you can get some amazing cocktails made up by the barmen as well and bar women. Finally, we're going to show you towards the rooms. Our room was 211, which means we're on the second floor. There are four stories right now, but they're building more for the resort because a little bit of it got blown down in the hurricane in 2017. So they are rebuilding and there's going to be more rooms for you guys to enjoy. Now, right now, there's two different buildings. We're going to show you towards our building and a little resort tour of our room. So that just about wraps up our resort tour of Fort Young Hotel. Now we've been hosting a Kids Sea Camp week here and if you're interested in finding out any more, make sure to visit familydivers.com or call the number listed somewhere around the screen here. We hope that you enjoyed the tour and thank you so much for coming along with us. Thank you so much for coming and exploring Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean with us. We'll see you next time in our next resort tour. Bye guys. Bye.